Now approaching his 11th season in the top grade, Luke Burt has a real spring in his step at the present time as a result of enjoying the benefits of a full off season in contrast to the season prior where he was battling to overcome an injured knee. The 27 year old says he's never been more ready for a gruelling season in the NRL. Yeah, was, uh, last year I, I probably didn't do any running until January, uh, so this year I've been running since October, so I've had a full pre-season, haven't missed many sessions, so it's been going great. You're 28 this year, um, 2009 represents your 11th season in first grade, I mean that's staggering. Do you pinch yourself? Yeah, uh, from, from what I, uh, I come from, I, I, I never thought I'd play first grade and um, to play first grade at such a young age and, and still uh, get the chance to play it at this age, I'm pretty honoured with, um, pretty happy with that. As you recall, undoubtedly, there was, there was a fair bit of, well, I won't say controversy, but a lot of talk about the fact that you were signed so young. Let's rewind those 11 years. How did you cope with all that at the time? Were you too young? Yeah, I, I don't think so. I, 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 I think I did all right. I think I played 26 games in my first year, and um, I was hidden from the media for the first six months, so that wasn't too bad. I, I, I kept away from them, and uh, the hype didn't really get to me too much. I, I, was, still, um, I was just fresh out of home, so... Um, and, and I was living with Noel Cleal, who, who helped me out quite a bit the first year. Mm. From your own point of view, uh, a career punctuated by injury over the last couple of seasons, as we've talked about uh, already, uh, is the best yet to come for Luke Burt? Because there's been obviously some outstanding seasons as well, sprinkled amongst the bad luck. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Um, touch wood injury free this year, and um, the, the t team's G'd up for a pretty big year, and hopefully I can just get on board and um, ha have a really good season as well. As was the case when I spoke with Nathan Hindmarsh, Luke Burt is resolute in the belief that the Eels' fortunes will turn around this year. And the reason? Good old-fashioned hard work. Uh, the, the work ethic at training, we're, we're, we're putting in a lot harder, um, doing a lot of hours and uh, a lot more intense. So, and, and we're all committed to, to the same goal this year and um, I think everyone's training r really well and uh, looking forward to a big year. Given the, the, the sort of football coach that Daniel Anderson is, do, does Luke Burt believe in his own mind he will benefit uh, as a result of playing under this man? Yeah, he's, um, he enjoys his attacking play, so that, that'll help the, the likes of myself and uh, other fellas like Floody Mateo and that, and um, get, off, uh, get off fellas like that. It'll be, um, it'll be an enjoyable year, hopefully. After making his first grade debut against Melbourne in July 2004, Folletti Matteo has established himself as one of the NRL's most exciting attacking players. Equally at home, playing 5'8 or lock forward, the Layla Park junior underwent a minor operation on his right elbow early in the off-season, but the good news for Eels fans is he'll be right for the start of the new season. Yeah, it's 100% uh, now. Um, it's just a bit of a clean-up in the elbow, some uh, floating bones, but it's all good now. In terms of training, you're back to full contact or have been for a while? Yeah, I've been since uh, since we come back in January and uh, it's all going well. Uh, from your perspective, a good off-season? Uh, yeah, for, for me personally it has been. Uh, I think I've probably the hardest I've trained with uh, Ando coming in and uh, he's hard but fair and uh, the more I put in I guess the more I'm going to get out of it. Obviously you've spent time at uh, 13 and 6 in, in recent years. What's the plan at this stage? Um, I think 13. Uh, Six is the same sort of role, but uh, I think just defensively I might be a bit different, might be in the action a bit more. So, yeah, and to sort of give me a free reign, and uh, I'm just looking forward to getting out there. Talk to me about your own game. What are you working on to improve? Um, I think just my decision-making in uh, offloading, uh, when, when to give it and when not to. Um, I think you only get better with age and, uh, you know, another season injury-free, hopefully, that I can uh, build on what I've done last year. Felitti Matteo has played under several head coaches in his grade career and the 25-year-old reckons he's enjoying working with the newly appointed Daniel Anderson. So what is it that the club's newest mentor provides? Um, I think it's a bit more disciplined. Um, you know, the boys were a bit, you know, uh, a bit out there last year, I think, just to put it lightly. And uh, I think he's just come in and uh, put some discipline into the training, you know, and, and uh, the off-field as well. Um, you know, the boys are just putting in this year and, and I think they're just getting the respect of Endo, you know, so it's, it's good for the boys. I think we're coming together well and becoming one unit. Without wanting to put you on the spot, um, why were they not putting in last year? I mean, people watching this show 
uh, might struggle to comprehend that. Professional footballers, uh, in some cases, earning a lot of money, um, and a number of people we've discussed this with today have said the same thing. Why, why was the side not putting in? Oh, I think we, we were, you know, the effort was there. It was just uh, doing it as a team, you know. Uh, you see any great teams, they always play together. And uh, I think losing games, you know, it, it you know, disturbs the confidence. And uh, I don't think we're working well as a team. And I think this year we got that. And uh, which uh, hopefully we'll see in, in the future games. In your opinion, what's the greatest asset this club has? Um, the togetherness, I think. I think we're, uh, we're good as a unit. And it comes from like the management and uh, it sees, like you see it through, all the way through to the players. And uh, it's, it's a good feeling around in the club at the moment and uh, hopefully it will stay for a while. When we come back to Parramatta Stadium, I'll speak with new head coach Daniel Anderson. Uh, isn't everyone in the hot seat that's a coach in rugby league in, in, in the NRL? I, I'm not worried about it. I'll catch up with boom youngster Krishnan Inu. That's, that's the past now, this is uh, 2009, so hopefully we can um, pick things up. And the club's head strength and conditioning coach, Hayden Knowles, drops by. He, he's right, he's saying he hasn't trained like this for a long time, because usually he has a rep season, then we give him some time off. You're watching Rugby League Summertime, proudly supported by Warrenora Plumbing Services. Back shortly. Back shortly.